Hey, welcome back to Changing Scripts. This is Stephanie. I wanted to do a follow-up on the video I did yesterday on the most common uh, Chinese radicals book that I found. And when I keep saying found, I realize there's a walkabout video for the book street where I bought it, which I have not done editing yet, and that's where I actually give a shout out to the person who, um, who I got it from. It was Patrick at Learn Chinese channel. I don't know why I'm speaking slowly. I've been at work all day. All right, so, but I want to give a special shout out to him because, yay, um, his channel, his Twitter, his Twitter account reached a thousand followers today, so woohoo. Um, in a few more months, I will know how to say something like super encouraging, positive in Chinese as well, <laughs> I think, I think, I think, but touche and I wish him meant much, much more success in social media and in um, in his uh, sharing of the Chinese language because he has helped me so much. This is just one way, uh, one resource that he's, he's pointed me and others towards on Twitter. So thank you very much. Okay, now that that's done, I need to get a little bit glary here because I need to read from uh, from this. So I want to do a follow-up for this book because, 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 Ah, I'm so in love with this thing. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's funny because normally at work, there's a little bit of downtime between, I do language testing, that's not giving anything really away, and there's a little bit of downtime between uh, people that I'm testing, and so that's when I say, oh, I'll do this at work, I'll do this at work, when I don't have my phone, but I have free time. I'm not a total slacker at work. There actually is built-in downtime. And so that's why I was really excited to find something so condensed and so wonderful that I can bring with me. And lo and behold, right after I buy it, I have two days of work where there was very little downtime. Today was one of them. But I still took part of my lunch break and part of like in the taxi ride, I got so sick on the way home yesterday because I kept thumbing through it and highlighting, I'm highlighting the top part that has the, um, the character, the Hansi character, the pinion, and the English meaning, and I'm, I did that so I could count uh, all of the 108 to make sure that I had them labeled properly to 108 because that's how many are in here, so that when I make the flashcards and I check them off one by one, I know I can quantify my progress. I feel like I keep going back and redoing and adding bits to the radicals that I know already, so I'm in this mode where I needed to quantify my learning so I can track my progress in the next few weeks, and I'm really glad that I did that because in this book, among other things, I'm still barely touching on the introduction where he explains the structure of the book and the, the different... He gives names to a lot of things that I don't have names for yet within the characters and, and, and whatnot. And I'll share that later. But what I wanted to share today... Let's, can you see this? He does... What does he call it? Uh, character structure. And this is probably really really not news to a lot of you, but this is news to me, well, not completely news, but it's seeing it in an organized way when I've kind of either been guessing or been told or kind of been exposed to before, but now it really feels like it's solidified. The one, two, three different ways, hi, <laughs> the three different ways you can see a character. Again, I'm dealing with radicals and radicals will build into, will be part of a character later. So you can either have two components next to each other, left to right, top to bottom, or in to out. And they have examples here too. So it was really nice to see that. And then, and this is where I love this book so much. If you take a character like, and I'm gonna say this wrong, I haven't pronounced this, practiced this yet with the sound file, but I think it's Z, Z, it's um, self, it's that one there. Okay, so what he does is, Oh yeah, he gives you, you know, you do the, the, where, it, what it used to look like, what it looks like now. So he goes through that. I went through that. But what I want to focus on today is this part here. Here's a new vocabulary item. This is a new character that uses this radical and he breaks down this plus this equals this. This is nose plus heart equals breath. And here, he's got that it's a, a component on top, component on bottom. So you can see component on, I'm gonna use, oh, I don't have a pen with me, but I'm gonna use my, 
something else. So it's component on top, this component's on top, this component's on the bottom, and that's what he's showing here. So he does that for all of the new characters in this book. I think I have to find him on social, the author on social media, so I can thank him for this awesomeness. So here are the numbers. Here are the numbers. Of the 108 radicals in this book, I, I glanced through all of them, I've highlighted a lot of them, I've made questions um, about ones that look like other ones, ones that are different, have different opinion than I thought, ones that have different meanings than I thought, so there's a lot of work to do. But so far, of the 108, there are 46 of them, I made notes, there are 46 of them that I already know. Now, either know the meaning or know the meaning and opinion. I included both of them in there, so about 46. So about half of them I'm at least passing familiar with, which is awesome because I was partially worried that I might know too many of them too well. I don't know why I was worried about that. That's not the case. I at least have half of them to do. And the other thing is I was worried that I might not have known enough of them and it might be too overwhelming. Not a problem. So I'm about halfway into knowing these, at least passingly okay. Awesome. The other thing is, like I just showed you, he has, and for some characters, he has an entire page. Like here is, I don't know that one. I want to pick one I know that has two pages. One second. Okay, this one here. This shows up on a lot of stuff. Sh wait, where's the tone? Sh 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 sh, sh which is stone. And I do see that in a lot of places. And so on page one, he has one new character here that uses that radical. And then there's an entire other page of one, two, three, four new radicals that use that. Can you see it? That use that radical. Does it use that radical? It does, yeah. And like I said before, sorry, he breaks it down this way, shows you how it's set up left to right, not necessarily left to right, but next to each other and on top of each other. And then he breaks it down like that in each one. And so there's new, new vocabulary, new characters with each of these 108 radicals. So I counted up not just how many of the 108 radicals I already know, but how many new characters, well, how many characters there are that have these 108 radicals. And I do know some of the characters already, which is encouraging. And ignoring the I know or don't know of all of the characters in here, based on these 108, char 108 radicals, guess how many characters he includes as examples? I'll give you five seconds. You are correct, 268 characters. So in addition to the 108, and yes, I really, really needed to quantify this for my brain, <laughs> um, with the 108 radicals that I'll be learning or solidifying in this book, there are 268 characters that I can pull into flashcards and learn the meaning of because they're based on the meaning of the radicals and just get more specific or like a nuanced or, you know, it's just, it's based on it. I mean, it's kind of, it's basically word groups, it, it seems like, you know, so I've got 108 word groups with 268 actual characters, not just radicals, that I can learn in the process. So that is my, I don't actually want to throw that out, I want to keep that post-it with the mathematical part to it because I want to check back in a few weeks and see how many of those I've gotten into physical flashcards um, and how I'm doing on those flashcards. I am, with the deck I have right now, with the current radicals I have, I'm doing four new flashcards a day and I am getting through the deck every day. Four feels very comfortable and I've got other decks of different things. I've got some sentences that I stole off of Ananki's shared deck that I'm just doing for the sound practice, just to get used to the sound of questions and where words are, but not so much the meaning yet. So I'm doing that just for sound input. Um, I'm starting a street signs one for the app that I'm going to make in the future. So I'm going to practice street signs names because I can use that stuff every day. So that's automatic. Um, usage and I uh, can get input from the taxi drivers that will be kind enough to help me with the pronunciation. Um, and then I think there's something else that I have in there too. Anyway, so I've got different decks. So when I'm done with my radical deck, 
uh, for the day, I go into the other decks and, and do different kinds of, of flashcard input every day or practice every day. So, so I'm excited to add another one, which is the new characters based off of these radicals. Should I put that in the same Anki deck? I know people have said, if you're using Anki, you're probably like, oh, don't do decks, do tags. But honestly, because I like controlling how many new cards I get per day, if I just do tags, I'm getting some of one kind but not some of another, and I'm not getting enough newness. And so I like to split up when I like to split them up into decks. It'll slow me down when I start reviewing huge quantities, but I can just combine them later. I've already combined and separated out the decks within the Anki flashcard app, and that's super easy to do. So if I end up doing that later, I'll do that later. But by the time I'm done with this book, I'll have 108 radicals and 268 um, characters that are based off the radicals, so they'll really, really, really be solidified in my brain because even if I forget the exact character, I'll have the sense of the meaning from the 108 radicals, which by the time I'm done with this, is not leaving my brain. Ever. All right, so that's it. That's my update. If you have used this book, like Maylene uh, commented, thank you, on the uh, previous video I did yesterday. Uh, leave your comments below. I'm very curious what you think. Also, if you've used, this is supposed to be in a series with the other ones for like speaking, and I think there's like an advanced uh, writing, rapid literacy in Chinese. So if you've used any of these three that are supposed to be combined together to help beginning um, beginning learners of Chinese, then please, by all means, leave the information below. I'd love to know your feedback on these. Um, if it's negative, that's totally fine. I'm still going to go forward because this is helping me right now. And until it isn't, I'm going forward. But it'd be very interesting to see what did or didn't work for you what, and what you did with this. Did you just work within this book? Did you put it into flashcards like I'm doing? Or did you do something else? Did you cut it up and do something with it that way physically? I don't know. Just very curious what y'all are doing with this. All right, thank you so much, and more later. Oh, I will have that walkabout video on the street where I, the book street, uh, bookstore street where I bought this coming any day now. Sorry, I've got a lot of work this week, and uh, it takes a while to edit these things. So thanks for watching. Thank you for the comments. I will get back. I will reply to the comments probably tomorrow night. It's, it's a really, really busy week. I do see the comments on YouTube, and I will get back to you guys. Please keep commenting. I'm really excited to have an audience and a really supportive audience nonetheless. And and yes, I do have weird eyebrows. I saw that. They're not mostly mine. I have to draw them in. That's a whole other issue not meant for this channel. But there you go. I have very strange eyebrows. I embrace it. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye.